PlayStation 4 Champions Cup playoffs. Um, due to me, obviously, um, doing the um, Blood on the Box talk show, that overran, as they usually they do. Um, so I'm now playing catch up um, on this game. So it is still um, live at the moment, still being played. So we, we, we've got the first, I know, four, five, tens on highlight, and then we'll catch up and we'll be real time. So it's uh, Messi Flush's um, last call for Valhalla, Norse team, against Demented's Dark Elves. Demented usually goes Wood Elves, but for this season he has gone um, Dark Elves instead. That seems a booming kick. A change of weather as well. Where's that going? That's a good, good kick. He has a, he has a good... Um, he has a knack of getting good kicks, does um, good old Demented. I'll just make sure I've got everything... Up and running, and I can uh, sit down and chill out and watch it with you guys. Let's get the uh, stuff on there. We go then. Right, I don't know if there's been any inducements or anything, but we will have a look as we go along. But um, like I say, the the we were just a bit behind at the moment, but it'll soon speed up and catch up. And that is a good start, a nice stun for the Norse there. So, inducements wise, well, we know he's got Cheney. We know that for a fact. Interesting, put Cheney there, though. Oh, he rolls a one straight on it. Oh, God, that's always annoying. Really annoying when you've got Jilly Four and you have to bend a re roll. Question is, is how will this Norse armor hold up? Under, under the, the consumers hit and here we go first one's an armor break and it's just a stun as well oh, crucial so one stun apiece both these guys veterans of uh, the PS4 oh look at that oh he's away already demented Getting ready to put pressure on, but not this time. And uh, a roll of a one. And he quickly says, you know what, I am not going to uh, re-roll that. Thank you very much, E. But we know Demetri likes to do this sort of thing. He likes to get through people into the back backfield, try and put as much pressure as he can on, on his opponent. The thing is, our Dark Elves are not as quick as his wood is, that's for sure. Gonna do with his yeti. Interesting, it's gone mighty blow there first. Oh, here we go. Oh, the yeti behaving himself very well. Cheney coming across. There comes a tackle piece on the bloodjet, and there we go. Get him down. Is that with a berserker? Wow, he must have a bribe to use a Berserk, surely. Um, I don't think he does, does he? Wow, that was, that was a brave call, that was. Using your Berserk, it's a foul. That is crazy. But, that's how Messi plays. So, let's have a look, see what's going to happen. Usually the first game of on the PS4 is usually the crazy one. So I'm hoping we'll get some crazy stuff happening in this one. Just the two admins in this season for the PS4. Unfortunately, Gimlet didn't qualify. Um, oh, another one, the Mighty Blow hitting there. To be fair, you can't, I mean... I, I've qualified, but only with a five-game high-up team, so I don't think I'll be doing very much. But, you know, you've got to be in it to win it, as I say. Oh, God, that's ugly. Gets him the second time, though. So, like I said, the game is live, but obviously we're just catching up at the moment. Here comes Cheney. Oh, double skulls with Cheney! Oh, ouch. That is not on the game plan. Now then, can the Dark Elves somehow 
make an opening. Just wondering if he's willing to do a very uh, a two die uphill block, maybe. Won't need it. Won't need it. He'll just go in this way. One die block. Oh, and he gets it as well, and all of a sudden, oh, wow, all of a sudden, it's going to be a mad punch up in the middle. Dear me, disastrous start for the Norse. Just a push, but it's enough to at least get that yet out of the way. Oh, get him with a re-roll. Where's the ball going to land? Oh, beautiful bounce for the Dark Elves. And all of a sudden, the Dark Elves already looking in top form. What a disastrous start for Messi. I mean, Messi's got one of the, one of the best, one of the best um, records of getting past the first round is Messi. Uh, very rarely crashes out early doors. He usually goes quite deep in the competition, but again, he's in a bit of bother here against Demented. Yes, Demented is playing Dark Elves in the Cup. Yes, it's the playoffs. Cheney owes his team one after that double skull. And he, well, he's got him. Just we're just getting stuns early on, aren't we? That's all we're getting. Just just a few stuns. Nothing brutal yet. But yeah, this is a disastrous start. Really, is disaster start for uh, the Norse. And um, oh. And there we go! I was saying not many people getting hurt. Well, there you go. There's a death. Wow. And that was a tackle piece as well. That is a crucial piece to lose. And finally, we get something splattered. And it's a death. Wow. Not a good start at all. Uh, but this is the thing with Norse. This is when I tried with Norse. It did just all went splattered. I'm surprised it took so long for one of them to go boom. But uh, this is what happens when you have the star player. You roll a double skull. More times than not, you're always going to be in trouble. And, uh, well, he's been KO'd. It's all kicking off now. That's a Dark Elf KO'd. Can that Norse guy get there? He sure can, but when you do stuff like that, oh man, he opened up with his Yeti. Oh dear. Yep, that's where I see death. Death and carnage. Especially when you got low armoured teams, but look at this. Oh man. So both the loners have done terrible for uh, Messi. Um, double skulls with um, Cheney, and then the turn after, his Yeti does it. So it looks like by an act of God, um, the Dark Elves will score. And don't forget, this is Norse's drive as well. So Demented fans will be extremely happy how this is going down. The Mercy Flush fans, oh dear. Your, your boy's in a bit of bother. I've seen him come back from things like this before though. So, you know, don't write him off yet. But his better players have got to start playing a lot better than they are. Oh, God, dear me. And a roll of one. Oh, no. Yeah, there is some nice players on this pitch. Yeah, another KO.
Yeah, no, no, so no, so tricky to use, are they? Let's be honest, no, so very tricky to use. Must admit, when I when I've used them, oh god, I need counselling after I played Nos. I really do. And the skull is not a good dice, let's be honest, but that's what can happen. And usually if you if you get bad dice um against a good coach you're in trouble. Yeah, yeah, I, I could agree with that Mello, definitely. Oh man, another injury this time, the agility four piece is apothecary this one, but guess what? The apothecary doesn't work and that's a minus one movement. And this has been a nightmare half. An absolute nightmare half for uh, the Norse. Wild animal, not good. And another KO now. <laughs> well, how many we got up there? We got three KOs for the Dark Elves. A death, an injury, and a KO for the Norse. Oh, skulls again! And this time, Cheney gets knocked out. Wow, that could be huge. That really could be huge for the second half if he doesn't come back. Is he going to risk a block? There we go, three die. Oh, it's my blow as well. Just a stunt. Oh, and he's still rolling dice. Look at that, that strength for Jilly Fab, that's a crazy piece that is. And it's got leap as well. <laughs> Look at all the minotaurs. Oh, they're both still out as well. They're all out. Wow, that's five. None of them come back. The, pro the problem they also have got is how on earth do they get the ball off a strength four, a jelly five blood jet? That's the problem. I mean, look at this guy. I mean, Cheney would have been the best best chance for that, but Cheney ain't here. He's knocked out. I'm afraid this is not looking good for, for Norse at all. Oh, man. I bet he was hoping for some, like, defense blitz there. Doesn't get it. It'd be interesting how Dementi is going to play this. Is he going to go for the quick kill? Go 2 0 pretty quickly. And then shut it down. Oh, God, another. Oh, this is getting deadly now. Stun only, though. Powers keep on running. Uh, oh, look 
could I mean that play is seriously good isn't it? I mean look at that. I mean that's just crazy. That is a crazy piece. There we go. And another pow. The pow's are raining. And the armor's breaking. And the wild animal on the uh, yeti there. It's bound to be using this guy, I think, with his tackle to uh, get rid of one of the pieces, we'd have thought. This is not looking good for Norse. I mean, if we can try and keep him down this flank here, maybe, just maybe, we might be able to uh, get the ball loose. But again, it's a strength for Dark Elf Blodger. So obviously we're up to speed now anyway, so this is all lab now. And there goes the tackle piece. And he's killed him! <laughs> Another death. This time the Dark Elves lose one. But his apothecary is used and it works. Wow. That's a big call. I don't know if I was apothecary at that. Not when I've got a, a, st a strength for Chili Far piece there. He's only a dodger at the end of the day. He's not that important player. Because could, you could even you could even get a, a, a thrown rock. What could take him out? I think it's a huge gamble. But that means both apothecaries have been used. And this is why I don't like wild animal. Because this guy could be stuck here doing nothing for the rest of the game. Unless he blitz with him. And then if you roll a 1, then you've lost your blitz. It's going to be and see what Dimitri does here, because he's, he's, he's not really got the numbers down here, has he? Um, Norse have done quite well here to contain this. Oh, doesn't get him down this time. Hmm. I wonder if he's going to try and pass it to this guy. Problem is, is this berserker has jump up, so he could at least get a shot on him. You can see what Dementi does here. Can anyone see where he could go with this guy? I mean, oh God, nothing's really on. There's nowhere safe he can go. Maybe go back. Maybe go back up here. I mean, you are one nil up. And then maybe the turn after, try and come down the pitch and maybe throw it. That might be his best chance. Because I think if he, if he, I think if he moves forward, I think you know there's a very good chance he'll lose the ball. I 
I really do. I think he's got himself in a bit of bother here, and he's taking a long time to think about it. Here we go. Let's see what he's going to do. He's going to go down here. <gasps> oh, he's failed the GFI. He's going to have to re-roll it. Oh. Yep. And he gets you the dodge. Can you not get around there, no? See, he's strength 4, isn't he? That's the thing. If he's strength 3, you get a one down block, no problem. And with it being, um, with him having blotch as well, it's even harder. And the Yeti finally does something. You'd, you'd think the Dark Elves will just go. You, you, would, you wouldn't expect them to be stolen here. I don't think he could anyway, but... Um, you can go 2-0 up. And then you're almost there, are right, you? Yeah. I mean, no side renowned for their fast scoring. Can he get one dicer? He needs a one dice, doesn't he? So you can tag this Dark Elf up with one of these two guys and then come in with his tackle piece and get one die. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, you can do it without making a dodge as well. Just two GFRs. But it will only be one dice. Here we go. You better pray these GFRs work. First one works. Second one fails. Go for it, works. It's on this dice. Oh, I think that will be game. Buy something crazy, like double one. Oh dear, he went for it. You can't blame him. And um, well, it's not looking good. Yeah, I mean, the only good thing about that 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 um, no sky fall in there is it means he can't go out on a zigzag, can he? That's the thing. So the first dodge at the moment is going to be three plus. Because yeah, usually he would, have, he would have gone from there to there and then out like that. This way he's going to have to go through there or through there. What's a minus one? See, that's still going to be two plus, isn't it? Because, so, yeah. Or he could just leap. And score like that. Well, it's a good place to go down, but he's got to leap this guy. I forgot about leap. Two plus leap with a reroll. Yeah. Oh, Cheney didn't come back either. I'm gonna say if he, if he could have got Cheney back, he could have probably quick scored because he's was he moving eight is Cheney. Yeah. 
Yeah. I think it. I think it. I think it basically comes down to now, the dark elves will try and make sure that they don't get. Um. Yeah, I, I think I think the dark elves now will just have to try and play stall and try and protect their best players. They don't need to put the best players at risk. But if he if they if his best player now gets a rock though, he's got he's got no. I know it's a, it's probably a slim chance of that happening. But we see all the well we have seen it before. Best players getting killed by a rock. There we go. Both teams get extra reroll. Oh, how does he do it? <laughs> Another great kick. Look at that. Oh, Man, he doesn't even have a kick on his team either. And that's two brilliant kicks he's done. Yet he finally wakes up, knocks out a uh, dark elf. Oh, let's go back up there. Down he goes. Yeah. Look where the ball is though, that is... <laughs> Oh, that's just gutting. It really is. The problem is you can retrieve the ball and get it all the way back up here, but you still got to watch out for that chilly for half strength for blitzer with a leap. That's going to be an absolute nightmare. Well, at least, at least this agility four runner doesn't. Roll a one this time, so he didn't have to burn a reroll. That's a long way to go, and he's got to do it twice. It's going to be interesting to see how demented plays this. Yeah, mate. Yep. Yeah. That's why I'm probably a bit quieter than usual. Everyone's in bed. I mean, what time actually is it here in Blighty? Uh, it's, it's not. It's not too too late. It's quarter past one in the morning. But obviously, I can't. I can't speak too loud because obviously, I don't want to wake anybody up. Now then, I bet everybody else will be in the competition saying, "Hey, you know what?" You know what, Mercy, if you can just get rid of that, um, you know, strength for agility for peace, you know, that'll, that'll be fine. We'll, we'll, that'll make us happy. Because nobody will want to face that. Ooh. 
Phil Dodge. I mean, have the Norse got anything? They don't have they. Yeah, crazy. I, I like I said when when I saw the Perry defense, I switched it off, Mellow. Until I saw it on YouTube. What's your, what's your record with Woody's now? How, how are they coming on? gonna do make it it'd help a lot as if he's uh, yeah he did something here nice mellow nice no nope, he's gonna stay put goes oh god he could have done better that oh he's gone for it he went straight for the killer but again doesn't work now oh, that definitely got to be frustrating that is Yeah, don't be surprised if Dementi doesn't make a run with Woody's as well. So the men are just bit, I mean, bit, men is just doing a professional job. I mean, Mace is trying everything, but he just can't get anything done. And the thing is, you know, at the end of the day, all, 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 um, Dementi has to do is just stall him. Because he's already 2 0 up. Walters through there nicely. Two plus. Just thinking if there's a crazy play on here. Uh, oh, you're in some good form, Ella. You're definitely in some good form. Oh, one dodge too many, and he's had to re-roll it. Here we go. One dice. Oh, he just gets a push. But look what he put him into. That is not a good position to be in. Especially when you're 2-0 down.
Yeah. Oh dear. Good old wild animal again. There's nothing really on, really. You really want to get to this guy. But, 5 plus catch, 3 plus dodge, that's without all the passing and the, the potential chance of an inception. Oh dear, that doesn't help. I mean, he could pass it to this guy, but again, where's he gonna go? Here we go. That's interesting. I thought there's two guys on this guy. I wonder if there's only two on there. Hmm. Oh well, that's left him open. Yeah, so it's, just, it's time for the crazy players now. It's got Bill and Dodge. The thing is, does he go this way? Oh, God. He did not want that. Ho, ho, ho. Here we go. This to keep himself in the game. <gasps> and it works! It works! And he's gonna go into the end zone. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a game on. Wow. Last call for Valhalla. There we go. 2 1. Can he pull out the fire? Will Cheney come back? Yes, Cheney comes back. Another Dark Elf comes back. So we've got nine Dark Elves. Plays 11 Norse. The Norse have three turns to save their season. Surely Mercy can't pull this out of the fire, can he? If I'm demented, I'm just basically giving it to this guy and say just look after it and I just screen him off for three turns. But if a defense blitz came on, or a perfect defense even Yeah, that's what I do, my look. Yeah, that's why he's hoping for it, Mello. Are there a blitz or a defense? Best defense.
Oh, well, we know where the kick's going. <gasps> Throw a rock. Well, that sort of helps them. There's now only eight players on the uh, pitch for the Dark Elves. But Norse are running out of time. That's the problem. He's still crucially got one reroll. Yeah, I, I, it's a bit of a risk putting your best player with no apothecary left on the front line. Don't think I'd be doing that. Tempting not a bit there. Yeah, there's a few Mellow Gold. Um, I know there's one on Tuesday. I think I've read there's one on Monday, one on Thursday. So yeah, there's a, they'll be coming thick and fast. That is for sure. Oh, there you go. You don't get the Berserker down. That helps. No, no, that's what I said. Looks very risky. Oh. <laughs> I did have to die. Well, I think another 30 playoff coaches would be hoping that would happen. Because this team's built on this guy here. And obviously this guy here. They're the two big guys in the team. It'll be interesting to see what Mercy does here. She does have the numbers. Yeah. Well, Nose have got to throw a caution to the wind now. That helps. You could see Cheney going after this uh, strength four piece here. I think I'd be tempted. I really would. I'd be trying to make him pay. We've got nothing to lose now. Yep. Well, unless he goes with his tackle piece, he might go for the tackle piece instead. Nope, here comes Cheney. Wow, Cheney's going for something completely different. Oh, that could have been the big guy. But it's okay though. You see, Cheney has catch as well, so it helps with interceptions. Oh, why did you JFR that? And he went for the loner. Oh, Cheney does something right and then does something horribly wrong.
Trader double sculled in the first half, but cost um, the Norse the ball. And now that Phil J5 might have cost them any chance. He was trying to tag the Dark Elf. Stop him from being able to come round. And the thing is, well, he's bent his re-roll as well, so he's got no re-rolls left now. So we'd like to think that the Dark Elf really should buy something crazy happening here. Should have this one now. Yeah, no, I, I get what you're saying, Melo. I'm just telling. I'm, I'm just saying what he. The reason why he did it. That really should be the game now. <laughs> Been a very professional performance on demented this, Messi. Has tried everything he could, but you just gotta feel Cheney really has let him down. When you pay that amount of money for a big a guy like him, you hope he's a difference maker in a positive way. Oh, there we go. Oh, I just leaps over and slaps him. Dark Elves, the most successful race in PS4. I do believe they've won it three times. Case Wolves have won it twice, but I do believe Dark Elves won it three times. I think. They have a very good record. He's got what he's got. Cheney's a scoring threat. This Berserker might be a scoring threat if he decides not to blitz with him. He might blitz this one and put uh, tag the ball carrier, but. No, he's doing this. Yeah, I, I, to be fair, that's what I would have done. If I had that other Jilly 4 piece, I would have had to have. Uh... He hasn't used his blitz yet. Oh! <gasps> wow! Almost! Almost came off! Wasn't to be. Great play up on Mercy. Oh, wow. If that had knocked. If that had been a pow, that ball could have gone out and come right up here. But not to be. 
Oh, he's trying to get it through. Do you know what? That would have been that bad if he'd have just stunned himself down here. Blocked to Avenue. But he is trying everything his mercy. Everything in his power. To get an amazing comeback. But oh dear. That's a KO. We can see what he does here. Um, demented because. I think he would have liked to have given to this guy, but we, we saw in the uh, in the first touchdown the no scored, so they did get you know get get from one end to the other. But they have no re rolls. That's the problem. He bent his last re roll with Cheney. This is huge. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh. That was double skull. We could have had a game on. You just you just you just got you've just got a feeling that oh. you just needed a couple of turns and maybe a re roll and Norse might have been able to pull some out of here, but they haven't. And here we go. Here comes the throw, surely. Can we see an interception? Nope. <laughs> oh, it's a great catch. Far pass. Far plus pass, that was. And he leaps. Oh, a bit of a showman there. And that is the game, and that is a cruel way. That f was a far plus pass, and he th he got it no problem. And uh, that will be game. I think I can safely say that the uh, the dark elf will not will not have their uh, star player on the land. That's for sure. But demented, it's going to be the first coach through to the next round. And uh, yeah, he's got a great chance of going all the way if he can keep his uh, strength for agility five dark elf in place for sure. The question is, can Norse take a few out with them? Go then the last turn of the first game of the first round of the Champions Cup. The Dark Elves will um, progress. Question is, can the Norse take a few out with them? There's the pow. First one, nope. He goes Cheney. Nope. I'm surprised if he doesn't try the Yeti. 
Yet to get him good. I blown claw. Nope. Now we're going to see if foul or not. That is the question. Nope, we're not. And there we go. So last call for Hal Valhalla of, of Mercifulish 1, Demented Elves 3. And uh, congratulations to uh, the, the Dark Elves. And there we go. Thanks for watching and um, we'll see you on another episode probably tomorrow. Take care guys. See you later. Bye bye.